All right, since we're rocking through it, um, I just watched back and started uploading videos to YouTube. And I've got a Silver Tip Turbo 7 in my grinder right now. Um, all I have set are the Silver Tip Turbo 7s other than uh, my... The bands that you saw me grind earlier today, which were the Sabertooth bands from uh, Norwood. So what I have to do is I have to reprofile my rock a little bit to grind this band. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, if you've seen my videos, you've seen that I profile the rock to the shape of the gullet in the tooth and then sharpen the band. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to reprofile the rock. So let me get you in close and show you what, what is going on here all. I'm gonna drop you down and I'm gonna take you out of the holder, drop you down so you can see what I'm doing. I don't wanna be in front of you so get that stool out of the way. Hopefully there's good light there. So I'm going to take you out of the holder and show you what the profile looks like compared to what I have. And this profile is for the Norwood bands. Um, so if you look at the Silver Tip Turbo 7s, well, let me get a good view. I need some light behind it. Let's see if I can get some light in there. Yep. Oh, there we go. Let's put this flashlight in here. Hopefully that shows through. Oh. Um, hold on, I'll get it for you one second when I when I get to shit. <laughs> this isn't that easy. Maybe I can do it like that. Let's see if I can do it like that. So, so you can see that on the left side, the rock doesn't come down enough. And on the right side, the rock is hitting up on the top there. There's a gap underneath. So the shape of the rock isn't the same. It's close, but it's not the same as the silver tip the Wood Miser Silver Tip Turbo 7s. Um, the angle, can't really show you that great, but the angle of it coming down on the tooth is good, but it's hitting right there. So what I have to do is I have to shape off the rock on that side. And I'm gonna do that. Oh, fumble. I'm gonna do that a little bit and put you back in the holder while I work on it. Now you can do this kind of, this is kind of the theme of my channel. You can do this kind of with a lot of different things. Um, you can do it with a regular diamond plate or I could go to grinding right now and it would, it would eventually kind of true itself up. Uh, you could do it with this, but I'm not going to waste this good diamond hone on doing it. You could do it with a silicon carbide rock. You could do it with those cheap Harbor Freight um, diamond plates um, that they work really fast. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it with this. This is a diamond stone truing tool. You can get these fairly cheap on eBay. It's that uh, they're, they're not expensive. They they do have diamond on the side too, so you could use that up if you have to. I'm gonna do it with the face. Make sure you see that, yeah. So I'm gonna do it with the face here. It's diamond impregnated. There is diamond on the side too, if you need to use it. Uh, but I'm going to look down at my profile. Uh, I'm gonna check another tooth because this is in the, uh, the weld tooth. I'm just gonna check another tooth really quick. I'm gonna advance myself into perfect. Okay, so I'm hitting right here on the wheel. Hopefully I'm out of your way. 
I'm going to take some of that off and I'm going to keep going until I till my profile looks good and then we'll check it grinding it. So I'm going to take a little bit off that side. I don't want to go crazy. This doesn't take very long. I don't want to go crazy. Okay, I gotta lower it down a little bit. It's starting to fit better. Oops, sorry. It's starting to fit a little better. Oh Lord. Did I nail it on the first try? Uh, one thing that I do see is that I need to back this off of here. Get that tooth over. Okay. Oh man, I I might have I kind of nailed this on the first try. I'm gonna take you. Some reason I have to oh, had it again. Kind of flashlight deficient around the house. There we go. Let's see what your view looks like. Your view looks kind of good. Let me see if I can shut this one spotlight off here. Get you a little closer. Check it with a light. So it actually, it looks, man, it looks almost perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind this one tooth. And then we'll check it and we'll see what it does in the gullet and if we have to address it. So it is just brushing the face. Let's clamp it down. Should advance it just a hair. Still brushing the tooth pretty hard. I'm gonna advance it a little hair more. So let's see. Let's go ahead and fire it up. And let's grind this tooth. And let's see what happens. Make sure I'm tight, right? Yep. Whoa. Oh, no. I hate to say I nailed that on the first try, but I think I did. So let's get this out of the way here. Let's pull this one to the side where we can look at what we did. Holy crap. Get you out of the holder without shutting you off. Where's the ones right here? So, I kind of nailed it. Got a burr on the top of the tooth. That's my profile. There's no big ramp up up here where, where the rock stops hitting. 
sorry. I kind of nailed it. Let's check as close as I can. I'm going to put you back in the holder again. I'm going to check the angle on that tooth to make sure it's 7 degrees or as close as I can measure it. My rock is leaned over at 7 right now. But the problem is, is that the inside of this rock right here will wear. So I'm going to get you... Kind of right like that while I do this. So I am going to again get my angle finder and uh, check this as close as I can. Oops, let's go like that. I need to tighten up a little bit so it doesn't move so I can keep it at where it is and I'm gonna put some light on so I can check against it let's see where I am let's get some light in there and put over okay that's right now at showing I, I hate to say I nailed it again, but you'd be kidding me. Now, granted, I'm holding it like this, so I can't see the angle on it. So let's see, when we spin it around here, what the angle says we are. So what that's telling me is... That's telling me I'm over four. So here's zero, here's four. That's telling me I'm over four. I'm gonna double check it again because that looked like what it came out at. Let's check one that's not, I'm gonna put it at four. I keep you guys in the camera really quick. I'm gonna put this at four. And I'm gonna put it against a tooth I haven't touched and see if I see a difference. You guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. Let's go to the next tooth that I, oh, one of these ones that I didn't grind that I like right here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, no, it leans over more. So let's go back to the one I did. Shine right in my eyes so I can't see. Oh, it does lean over a little more. And I then I guessed at it. It's really hard for me to to guess at this because of the the uh, it does lean over a little more because of the radius in here. The top of the tooth leans over a little more. I'll see if I can get a better guess at it. Okay, yep, it's definitely wider at the bottom, so let's go over a little more. Okay. Still wider at the bottom. Still wider at the bottom. It's 
pretty damn close. What is that? That's at six. So as close as I can measure right now, I'm at six. Let's grind another tooth. I might have to, um, what's, what's happening is that the side of the wheel right here is wearing. So I'm not, I don't believe I'm grinding at seven. Am I stuck on? Oh. Let's go to the next one. Pull us down into the gap. Let's go ahead and grind this one and see what it looks like. I want to show you this tooth too. Let's let's just really. I don't know why I keep tightening that. I don't mean to. I want you to see that the corner of this tooth knocked off. See how rounded it is? You look at the one that I ground right here. See how perfect it is? This one, you see how it's rounded off? So we're going to go ahead and grind this one. Now, is there going to be a big difference between seven and six? No. There isn't. And, and I'm eyeballing it. So there's a chance that... Look to me, the two still rounded off. It looked to me like I cleaned up the whole gullet. I need to take more off that tooth. That tooth didn't totally clean up. show you that so now you get these two here this one you see the burr on the top of the tooth this one right here these two I've done and as far as my tooth leaning forward it's not a very good view like this. How much you're leaning forward is the big question. I wish, let me put you in the holder here. Let's see if I can do it since the tooth is held. If I can get this up out of the way. Nope. Can't do it like that. So even when I check one, uh, another tooth, I mean, that looks like the angle's pretty much the same. I do want to get it over So that's seven. Let's loosen this off. Hopefully you're looking at what I'm looking at. Yeah, you can see it. I'm gonna pull these over, and just check them by eye to this and see if it's obviously that they're not over that far. No, it's not at all. They look like they're they're right there. Yeah, so if I had to guess, I would say that the one that I just ground is seven. The one that I ground before that looks just a teeny bit less. This one looks seven. This one looks a teeny bit less. 
but that's not going to affect anything. So I'm going to go to. I got to do the one that's. I got to do the one that's in the weld here. I'll switch back over here real quick. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to grind the one in the weld. I'm going to get to grinding. Check the view. The view looks good. So when I do the one that's in the well, what I do is I, I keep the uh, stop out of the way. And I'll get it so it's just brushing the tooth tip. Like that. And I'll hold it in place. Tighten it down. And fire it up and grind this one. That's all good. So get her flipped over here. I've done these, this one, this one, and this one. Let's go ahead and fire up. Yep. I'm not going to go around the whole band while you guys are watching. I'm just going to do a bunch of teeth. Now I hope, I hope you can see the glint off the teeth. I can kind of see it in this view here. So you can see the glint on that tooth right there. It's gone. Now there's no glint. So I'm going to take you out for a second. Let me, uh, I'm going to pull this next one over. Show you what you're trying to sharpen out. Okay. So I can see the glint in the tooth. I'm going to pull you out of the hole. I'm going to show you up close. Show you what you're trying to sharpen out. So you can see this band hit something. You see the glint on the side of the tooth right there. See that? How the edge of the tooth is knocked off. You see how this one's nice and sharp with the burr over the top? So that's what you're sharpening out. I think I'm good here. I'm tight. See how it's gone? Now you have a burr on the top. This tooth is not hot. You, to you get the burr on the top, the glint's gone. You can see the glint on the next tooth right there against the stop. That's what you're sharpening out. If you don't take that out, you're not sharp. Let's do a few more and then we'll look at the teeth and we'll see how we're coming out. holds this oh I'm not facing oh, so this one. you go ahead and bang out a couple more real quick and then we'll check the team so what we're doing is on each one where it hits something. And I've got to sharpen them until that glint's gone. It's just taking it off too. And we're honing out the gullet as well. The micro fractures. So this is a different Turbo 7, Wood Miser Turbo 7 band, as opposed to the 
opposed to the uh, saber tooth uh, gold bands. The same angle, just it's a deeper gullet and a longer tooth. see the glinting on this tooth. As long as that's gone when I'm done, the tooth's sharp. Same thing with that one. Same thing with that one. You see the glinting on the top. Same thing with that one. So this band definitely hits something. Do it so you're in the same spot every time. This tooth is damaged. Uh, this tooth is not going to clean up. You sharpen it, eventually, it will clean up down the road. But this tooth right here, it's, the top's knocked right off it. I did set it, I marked it to, to show me that there was damage to it. teeth are hot. Just want to make sure that I'm sitting in here solid. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these teeth. What we're accomplishing when we're doing this. So you can see the burr on the top right here. On each tooth. That means that we sharpened all the way to the edge. Now, in my professional sharpening opinion, that should be taken off. Now you can, because what's going to happen is that that burr is going to tear off when you go in the wood. So personally, I think that you should... I think that you should go in there. Let's look at that tooth now. And hit that with that diamond hone on the top to take the burr off the backside so that this tooth, come on, focus, doesn't tear that burr off and leave a jagged edge, which is what it will do here. So if you see that burr right in front of my finger now, you can kind of see it sticking up there. When that tears off, it'll leave a jagged edge across the top. This one won't now because I took it off. And it's sharp. So I think they should be taken off, but I don't see anybody else doing it, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but that's how you reprofile a rock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just blast through the rest of this band. Off camera for you guys and um, post up another video. I think you can see, if you look over here, you can see the face of the teeth. See how they're ground all the way up? See the face of the tooth? 
Is it going around here? If I get the light just right, that's what you're looking for. And that one, I can't get the light quite right. But yeah, that's what you're looking for is that. There you go. There you go. There you go. You're looking for that nice, clean face of the tooth. So before anybody gets home, while I can still make a shit pile of noise, I'm going to go ahead and grind out the rest of this BAM. We already figured out that it takes 12 minutes to grind through the BAM. So I'm going to take, uh, probably going to take me 10 minutes now, 10 minutes to grind out this BAM, and I'll have another BAM ready to go. So, I appreciate the watch, and um, we all just are trying to get better minute by minute. Uh, hit me up with any comments or anything, and let me know what you think. Peace out.